up, YouTube? Welcome back to the RTG, the summertime RTG, the July RTG. This is episode number six, and we got some content today, man. Um, we got the 85 times five. Uh, we got the new player picks, and um, we got a team of the week pack, which we might have to do. Also, I got my squad battle rewards. And remember, this is a poor man RTG in July, so it's not the easiest thing to do. It's actually kind of hard to get started, but at the same time, once you get started, things start flowing. For example, we were able to do Chiellini in the last episode. We picked up Cordoba. We also picked up the homie Messi. We did some great things. Also... I just want to let you guys know, if you missed an episode, go check it out. The quick episodes, they're dope. You got to kind of see the process, how we got to this team so quickly. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content, content and make sure to hit that big old thumbs up as it helps YouTube share it out to more people. Today, we are going to open up our team of the week rewards, and excuse me, our squad battle rewards, which was gold three rewards. That's going to contain a team of the season player. Now, this is important to us because if this team of the players stinks, which is probably going to stink, this team of the season player. Um, oh, it's red. That kind of changes everything. So that won't actually count as a team of the season or an inform. I just thought about that. Okay, so now I need to find a way to pick up an inform. Because once I pick up an inform, then I can turn around and do the 85 times 5, which should be pretty easy. Um, and then we can also do a couple of the 82 upgrades. So your boy needs to find a way to get a team of the season to the team without wasting a lot of money. Because I want to waste 15,000 coins of potentially going into a draft. Hazard is a nice little pool right there, to be honest with you. I just kind of wish that we would hit the one and only team of the season. Because it's going to be difficult to get one of those. Like I said, we can do the team of the season pack, but that pack is... Ah, you got to use a lot of fodder to get it. So, with that being said, hit a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me get a team of the week real quick, and then we're going to do the 85 times 5. This isn't the best decision. I'm giving up a couple 83s that are good, like Rudiger and Conde, and I'm also giving up an 88 and 84. So, it's definitely not a good good vibe, but I need a team of the week if we want to do the 85 times 5. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why is that 85 times 5 so important to you? It's really just not, it's not really that it's important to me. It's that... When you're when you're doing an RTG in July, you gotta take risks. You gotta really get lucky out of an SBC to really kind of give you that little push forward. Um, so with that being said, let's see what we get from the team of the week. Hopefully, it's not one of those crazy cards that you regret turning in. It's not. It's an 84 rated inform, which is solid to be honest with you. Now we could turn around and do the 85 times five to see if we hit something from that. And if we don't, then we just do player picks to see if we get something from that. So. It's all kind of like an SBC grind to kind of really get lucky. All RNG. This game is very RNG based. Even the gameplay is very RNG based. I think we all know that. Um, but hey, that's the way the game is. And that's the way it's been all season. So let me go ahead and fill this in. And then your boy will pop this one open as well. So I was able to get the 85 times 5 done. Now I'm giving up a Bonucci. I'm giving up 85s. 485s, by the way. I'm giving up a lot. 585s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm giving up a lot. But it's because I don't have many 84 fodders. Also giving up Dembele, who's kind of an important player to the series. But we got to start grinding through rivals very, very soon. We got to hope and pray that this gives us something to be able to help us grind through rivals. That's kind of the... That's kind of the, the hope here is that we get lucky from this bad boy right here. But chances are we take a massive L on this one. But hey, yo, you never really know, man. Let's send this thing. We're almost at 15,000 coins, which could see us maybe potentially play another draft. Uh, but we haven't got lucky in the three, four draft wins that we have played. I think we've played four. Do we get lucky here? We get a shapeshifter, boys. This could be huge. Netherlands shapeshifter center mid. Who's it going to be? It's the one and only Delit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big hit. Big boy delay out of our 85 times 5. This is a massive, massive pool. I know to a lot of people, you'll be like, ah, it's like a 200k card to a July summertime RTG. This is a banging hit, boys. Nice little pool right there. We also get Trent, and we get another Rashford. Now, Rashford, I believe, is nah, he's tradable. That's beautiful. Man, we get a, a, a kind of a how, a big boy Trent, and now a beautiful delay. Ladies and gentlemen, this RTG starting to collect uh, fodder very very quickly which is nice um and also starting to get some very very nice players for example you're probably like why are you so excited about the lit well the lit links very nicely into cordoba and into the one and only big boy chiellini so now all of a sudden bada bing bada boom we got messy with hakimi we got the lit with cordoba and the boy chiellini now we just got to figure out where we want to go, how we want to go up top to make this team even better, right? We got Trent. We got Jawon Cancelo. We got some really nice players. We just picked up a Carvajal. Um, we got that homie Hazard. I need to figure out a way, and this is going to be the hard part. I need to figure out a way, right, uh, to get Aubameyang working on this team. Now that's going to be realistically, the, I think in my opinion, probably the toughest challenge to be able to fit 
Chiellini, I mean, uh, Obamiang into this bad boy. Um, I think the only way to do it is to really run like Dest or something at left back because I don't think Barcelona really got a left back like that. But if I get myself a nice Barcelona left back, do they have a left back? I don't think they do. They're, oh, their left back is Jordi, actually. So you could play Dest off Kem or we could rock Jordi. So where is um, La Liga? La Liga is right here. And then we go to Barcelona. And then once you get there, you go to uh, Concept. And we should be rocking out with a nice little Jordi. Um, I'm not sure the price tag on Jordy. That's the problem. Um, but hopefully he's not too bad. Let me see the price tag on Jordy. Uh, I'm going to check that out in just one minute. I also have to move. I would have to move Aubameyang backwards, which honestly, boys, I'm more than okay moving him backwards with the based off the team we have. Jordy, 86 overall, probably selling for a lot. 14K, we can afford him. So our first purchase might have to be a nice little Jordy because then all of a sudden... We have a team to play rivals. We got Timo Werner and Aubameyang. Um, our midfield would be the homie DeLitt. We have a few, what would we run? 4-2-3-1. Defensive mids, Thiago and DeLitt. Then you're going to have um, Messi and Aubameyang out on the wings, most likely. Timo Werner at striker with Havertz down the middle. And that's the team that we would have to rock out with, unfortunately. And that's not even really unfortunate. It's actually a W. Or I could go with Gundogan, which I will probably go with Gundogan over Thiago. It's going to be Gundogan and the boy DeLitt playing defensive mid. Striker, Cam, Ram. And Lamb in the 4-2-3-1. So our first signing is going to be Jordi Alba. But before I sign Jordi Alba, why not try to pack Jordi Alba um, in a beautiful player pick? And at the same time, with all that being done, we can go ahead and sell this Rashford, which could potentially sell for something as well. Rashford's going for um, a light little 9K. Yo, you know what? We take those, man. We take 9K on Rashford, man. So we throw Rashford up for 9K. Zaha didn't sell. That's okay. We'll list him back up. And now let's do some player picks while we wait to see if Rashford sells. And that will be us picking up um, my man uh, Jordi Alba. So it's W's right now, boys. The series is really, really going forward. Our team's looking good. But I don't want to give away too many of my players. I'm up to like 80 rated players and I don't want to get rid of them. So I only did three player picks to kick this off, man, to kind of see if they're good. And if they are, then I'll start giving up more players. But here we go, man. Wish me luck. We already got a beautiful delit. Now we get our boy Has, uh, Jesus Navas, which is uh, okay, pool. I mean, he'll go into a bombing if I do play him on the left. Next pick. Can we get a Jordi Alba so I ain't got to buy him? PK's a good hit, man, but I need Jordi Alba. Can we please see a Jordi Alba? One more player pick, 82 plus. Can we get lucky with the big one? Already owned Tiago. Now, I don't know if Tiago is untradeable. I'm pretty sure my Tiago is untradeable, so I don't really want to use him. Um... So I'm going to take Rafael Guerrero. And that's the four players we got. So we got a couple 84 rated players. Um, kind of wish I would have done this right before I did the um, team of the week pack. Because I could have used them instead of using, you know, I mean, you guys get where I'm coming from. right? I turned a lot of 85s and I would have had 84s to turn in. So that's a little bit annoying. But besides that, I think that we've done everything right this episode. We've gotten really, really lucky with that delete pool. Can't really wait, wait to play with the team. Like I'm excited to actually play with this team because... I think this team could actually do okay. I know that sounds weird. We're going to see really big teams in July, which that's always scary. But besides that, I think that um, I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with this team, boys. I think it's going to be a fun team. We're going to be able to rock the lit for the first time ever. I've never used him. And uh, we'll be able to do some real cool stuff. So right here, you're turning in six of these. I'm going to try one more. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven. Chill out with that, my boy. Um... Let's go ahead and send this now, man, and see, uh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save Nani, and um, we go again. Here we go. Let's see if we get a dope little player pick. Um, we're going to do one more of these, and then we'll go from there. I need to buy Jordy. That is a must because I need Aubameyang on. Oh, Varati 87. I need Aubameyang to have some chemistry. J uh, Varati on a a 87 Varati. Yes, 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 yes. That was pretty good. It makes me want to do another one. We got to send one more, boys. We have to, right? We have to. If they give you... That's that's EA telling you to keep going, right? They're like, hey, look, if you do another one, you're going to get fired. But then they give us absolutely nothing. But hey, you never know. Maybe they give us some fire. I got to do one more, boys. That was too lit to leave it for July to get an 87 rated card. That's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to give up cards here. See, this is where... I don't think we do it. Do we back out? All I got is 84s left. Jesus Navas. Do I give up Jesus? I think I actually might give up Jesus here. I might have to give up. An, uh, I don't want to give up 284s. That low key might be dumb. Nah, I don't have to. I have to give up 184. Do I do it? 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to give up 184. Hopefully, we get lucky and get an 84 back, bro. Otherwise, you took an L. Give us higher than an 84. Otherwise, we took an L. Higher than an 84. Otherwise, we took an L. Higher than an 84. Otherwise, we took an L. We took an L. All right, boys. That is our player picks for the day. Um, I'm going to have to probably run some drafts to be able to get ourselves, you know, uh, get ourselves some more fodder and stuff like that. But real quick, we got to pick up the homie Big Boy Jordy. He's our first, like, purchase upgrade. Um... Our first, uh, our first like buy, right? He might be one of our first buys. I can't believe we have Messi already, which is kind of lit. But how much does he go for? I think he was going for like around, um, I want to say 14. So I'm going to try 13. He's not 14. There we go. All right. So the cheapest one on the market is going to be 14 flat. I'm going to snatch Jordy up. That's going to leave us with 219 coins. Problem here is that I have to move Aubameyang to left wing or left mid as soon as possible. But your man don't have... A left mid card so that's a little bit of an issue but jordy officially in the team now my man obaming is officially on six chemistry which is nice um and then one more thing i wanted to do really really quickly was see if are you able to see from here if they're untradeable or, or, or not i don't know oh yeah you can okay so if i go to chemistry uh position changes this card right here doesn't this sell for something oh it's untradeable that's a little bit annoying because I was wondering if that one sold for... I don't think Cam, the center forward, sells for absolutely anything. I could be wrong, but I don't think that one sells for anything. But I did have a Hunter card. Does the Hunter card sell for anything? Probably not, right? I don't think Hunter sells for anything either. Also, it's untradeable, so we can't do nothing there. All right, boys. This is our team. And honestly, I might try it in the Rivals game real quick because we haven't dropped any gameplay really on the channel for a bit. Well, well, well we haven't tried this team yet, is what I want to say. Should we actually play a 4-2-3-1 narrow? That actually could be smart. Move Havertz back. I actually might run this right here. Jordi, Chiellini, Cordoba. I'm going to run this. Gundogan, Havertz, DeLitt, um, Messi, Aubameyang, Timo Warner. That's going to be our starting 11. And we are going to play our first game of rivals right now together and see what this team can do because we need to start grinding up to the weekend league. So with that being said, let's get involved, baby. Let's start playing up. Do You start in, you start in Division 10. Our first game is going to be all the way in Division 10. Wish me luck, boys. Took a little bit and hey, let's go. We get matched up against this in the first game. Hey, that's hilarious, man. Um, I low-key kind of feel a little bit bad for this guy. He probably just bought the game. Um, so what if he smacks me, though? Hey, this guy might smack me. That would be crazy. What can Messi do? Messi sends it to Aubameyang. Aubameyang slows down, finds Timo Warner. He shoots back in the net 1-0. I was thinking it was going to go to Messi, to be honest with you. But Aubameyang gets us off the ground with a beautiful assist to my boy Timo Warner. And the young German beast hits the back of the net, and we are now chilling. Here's Havertz. Havertz is probably the, the weakest player in the middle. Actually, Gundogan. Gundogan's by far the weakest in the middle, right? I think he, it would be him. Let's see what we do here. Hakimi covers the inside. Nice. DeLitt looks like an absolute beast. I know it's only Division 10, but... Hey, man, you got to respect Division 10, don't you, boys? Here's Timo Vorder bringing it forward. Timo still with it. Got to hit the sweaty. Sure, why not? Messi! Seven minutes in, the Messiah scores, and we're up 2-0. And there's going to be a lot of this, boys. There's going to be a lot of us trying to get through games as quickly as possible, trying to get into the weekend league. My scariest thing right now, boys, is because it's July in my area, it is very, very hard to find games. I don't know about in your area, but in my area, it is hard to pick up games, bro. I, I search and search and search and search, and there is not many games out here. So I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get up the rival ranks, but I need to get up to like Division 2, II, Division 3, Division 1 as quickly as possible to maybe start getting a few games. Look at my boy Messi. Straight to Aubameyang. Back to Timo Warner. Nah, I feel bad. He just bought the game, bro. Hey. Bro, I'm sorry, Mark. I know you just bought the game, most likely. Mark leaves, and we win our first game with our brand new team in Division uh, 10. We run through it quickly. We need to get up these rankings as quickly as possible, man, because, look, we're only going to get a few points to end the weekend league. How much do we get? 25 points. Guys, this is going to take forever. Once again, it's another gold team. This time, Sergio Ramos and Mings at center back. Again, we're going to match a lot of people that just picked up the game from the store. And um, hopefully, we're able to run through these games very quickly. Here's Aubameyang. He takes off into space. Aubameyang scores. 3-0. 10 minutes in. What? Are we, yeah. I know what people are going to be like. Hey, yo, you playing in the Farmers League. Listen, this is not my... I don't want to be here, bro. I have to be here. Here comes Aubameyang. 
Aubameyang dancing. Aubameyang shoots, bro, bro. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Do the right thing and back out, bro. All right, man. We are gonna uh, hopefully. Yeah, he backed out. We're gonna advance into another game. Um, with that being said, guys, I think I'm gonna end episode six there. I'm not going to put you guys through it anymore. Hopefully, more dope content comes out tomorrow where we can just continue to add a player to the team at least every day. That would be sick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's going to take me a long time to get enough points to get into Weekend League, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on. I had a blast putting this episode together for you guys. I hope you guys had a blast watching it. I will catch you guys back here tomorrow for another Summertime RTG. Love your faces. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll talk to you soon. Booyah.